Hi there, this is Steve Stein and I'm going to show you how to play Alex Clare's Too Close. Um, when we start off here, it's the same chord progression through the entire song. What you're going to be doing is playing a B minor chord. Um, and the easiest thing to do is to start off playing the B minor bar chord. If you know the fifth string bar chords, you would take your first finger and bar over the bottom five strings at the second fret. And then you would take your other three fingers and create an A minor shape. So your middle finger is going on the second string, third fret. Your third finger is going on the fourth string, fourth fret. And your pinky is going on the third string, fourth fret. So you have a bar here with the A minor shape behind it. Okay, so we'll just get through the chords here and then I'll show you the picking pattern with your right hand. So that's a fifth string bar chord. Okay, that's B minor right there. Then we're gonna head over to just a straight old D chord here, D open chord. And then we're gonna go up to an E minor chord. Okay, and then we're gonna head over to two bar chords on the sixth string. So we're gonna go to the third fret and we're gonna bar over all six strings with our first finger. And then we're gonna make an E shape with these three fingers. So we're gonna put the middle finger on the third string, fourth fret. We're gonna put our ring finger on the fifth string, fifth fret. And we're gonna put our pinky on the fourth string, fifth fret. Okay, so this is a six string bar chord. All right, so we're playing this. This one's called G. And then we're gonna move back one fret to the F sharp. So you have G to F sharp. Okay, so we have B minor to D to E minor, to the G bar chord, to the F sharp bar chord. Now you want to use these shapes to get the, the sounds that he's using when he's actually finger picking this. And in order to finger pick it, what you're going to do is use your thumb, your first and your second fingers. So what we're going to do is we're going to place the thumb on the fifth string. And when you do this pattern, if you've ever done finger picking before, um, you might have your own thing, but if you've never done it before, the easiest way for most people to do this is to kind of think of it like a thumbs up. So you're going to put the thumb out a little bit further in front of the other two fingers, okay? Instead of like having them side by side, they're going to kind of squish into each other. If you kind of think of it as a thumbs up and then set it down on the guitar, the thumb's going to be out further. That way when they're picking, they don't run into each other. Or if they're sitting like this, they tend to run into each other. So you're going to take the thumb, place it on the fifth string. You're going to take your first finger and place it on the third string. And your middle finger and place that on the second string. Okay? So here's all three of those notes over this B minor chord. Okay? So what I want to do is separate those. I'm going to play the, the thumb note first. And then I'm going to pluck these two together. And then I'm going to do it again. So I have thumb to these two fingers to the thumb, to these two fingers again. So it sounds like this. Okay, now it's hard to tell on the recording, he may be double picking the bass note like this. And he might just be single picking it. And again, to be honest, he might be doing both, who knows, right? Um, so just kind of decide which one you think you hear the best. Um, I think when I'm playing it, I'm kind of shifting back and forth between the two. You know, I think either one would be fine, though. There's actually an acoustic version of this on YouTube as well, but that version, he's actually doing a bunch of different finger picking with that. But the CD version, it's, it's kind of hard to tell. So just decide which one you want to do. For this purpose, I'm just going to pluck it once like that. So thumb, the two fingers, thumb, the two fingers. Then we're going to head over to the D chord. We're going to do the exact same thing, but now what we're going to do, the thumb is going to go on the fourth string, and the other two fingers are going to drop down to the first and second strings. Okay, so it sounds like this. And again, you have to decide whether or not you think there's two of them or one of them, but for this purpose, I'm just going to play one. Okay? Now, as we move into that D, you're going to notice that it kind of jumps in. So instead of going and waiting that long, he actually comes in early when he plucks the fourth string. Then he heads up to the E minor, and then you're going to put your thumb on the sixth string, and then you're going to take the other two fingers and head back to the second and third strings. Same picking pattern. So we have B minor, 
D, E minor, and then we're going to stay on those same three strings, sixth string, second string, excuse me, second string, third string. We're going to move to that G bar chord, and then to the F sharp. So the whole thing, nice and slow, sounds like this. And notice how I jump in various places, like I'm jumping to the D and I'm jumping to the G. See how I jump in? Okay. Now, in the part before the chorus, the pre-chorus, he's doing the same thing, but he's actually jumping into the F sharp, so he does this. So you jump from the G to the F. Okay. Now again, in listening to the acoustic version, he's he's changing the rhythms various places in that video. Um, and again, I'm sure it's because he's actually doing it live. He's singing and playing and everything at the same time. Um, but that's what he's doing in the pre-chorus. Then when you get to the chorus, you do the exact same thing again, but you go ahead and strum it. And remember, all your strumming should be consistent. Whenever you strum the guitar, keep your arm moving back and forth. You know, don't start and stop and do all that kind of stuff because it sounds weird and it looks even weirder. So when you're doing it, keep find out where the rhythm is. Like a great thing to do is just to take the song. If you're if you're trying to learn how to play this, don't worry about the chords. Just practice playing along with the song, creating rhythms to the song. And remember, the goal is to keep the arm moving back and forth. Move away from the strings when you don't want sound or you don't want to strum. Then move back in when you do.